Mr. President, my delegation takes the floor to exercise its right of reply to refute Pakistan's juvenile propaganda to malign India through fabricated lies full of deceit and deception. We condemn the unwarranted comments made by Pakistan on the judgment of the Supreme Court of India. The judgment is about the rule of law, equal respect for all faiths, concepts that are alien to Pakistan and its ethos. So while Pakistan's lack of comprehension is not surprising, their pathological compulsion to comment on our internal affairs with the obvious intent of spreading hatred is condemnable. Mr. President, the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh have always been, are and shall always be an integral part of India. And this includes the territory that is currently under the illegal and forcible occupation of Pakistan. UNESCO's membership is well aware of its constitution which states that with a view to preserving the independence, integrity and fruitful diversity of the cultures and educational systems of the member states of the organization, the organization is prohibited from intervening in matters which are essentially within their domestic jurisdiction. Sadly, in flagrant violation of UNESCO's constitution, its ethos, mandate and practices, Pakistan's intervention did precisely that. Pakistan's intervention is an interference in India's internal affairs. It is unacceptable and we reject it. Mr. President, for us the most important fundamental right is that of right to life. Globally, the single largest threat is this right, to this right is from terrorism. Tragically, the reality facing us is that Pakistan is the world's largest producer and exporter of this evil. Pakistan's political approaches are rooted in terrorist violence and its global engagement is defined by mainstreaming of terrorism as an instrument of statecraft. Ask yourself the following questions. In which country were the perpetrators of 9-11 and 26-11 terror attacks discovered? Where were Osama bin Laden and Mullah Omar found? Which country is home to 130 UN designated terrorists and 25 terrorist entities listed by the UN as of today? Which is the country where organizations such as Hijbul Mujahideen, Jamaat ul Dawa, Lashkar e Taiba, and many other banned terrorist outfits openly conduct their activities, collect funds from the streets, and run their offices with active support of the state machinery? Which country is the leader in aiding, abetting, and financing of terrorist activities? The army of which country massacred millions of its own citizens just because they spoke a different language? The answer to these questions is Pakistan. We, the UNESCO and the global community certainly do not need Pakistan, this hub of global terrorism, to be waxing eloquent on internal affairs of my country. Indeed, the entire peace-loving membership of UNESCO would serve humanity well by coming together to impress upon Pakistan to be a normal country and to eschew preaching, practicing and propagating terrorism. Thank you.